Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is No Reels, and this is Project Zomboid. Project Zomboid is a zombie survival game where you have one life. That means that one bite, one scratch, one infection will be the end of your playthrough. I think that's a great idea because I watch movies where I think I know better than another character. So join me as I put those ideas to the challenge and attempt to survive for 30 in-game days. If you like this content, please consider subscribing and interacting. And if you have any tips or tricks, please leave them in the comments below. Okay, so we are going to be starting a new game under the Apocalypse playstyle. And we are going to be playing with some mods. Um, I'll leave them somewhere down below uh, if you'd like to read through them. Uh, but moving on, we're going to be playing in Riverside. And I was thinking of trying to survive for these next 30 days. Um, how it would be beneficial to already kind of have some of the ideas of... Uh, whether that's building, foraging, trapping, carpentry, and I was looking at the park ranger and just seeing how much stuff you get, like the plus one axe, the plus two carpentry, the plus two foraging, the plus two trapping, um, I thought that that would be a really beneficial thing since I wouldn't necessarily be working on those skills um, as often since I'm trying to prep. Um, and not to say that I'm not going to work on those skills, but it'll just be nice knowing that because I was prepping, I don't have to try to... Uh, forage um, I don't have to try to trap while I'm trying to survive just gathering supplies for this uh, 30 days um, so I was thinking park ranger and so we do have some negative points to spend down here um, I wanted to think of something that was going to not affect me uh, in the long run and so I thought of out of shape and I thought of underweight um, and that gives us eight points to spend, so we get some positive traits in there. But out of shape says low endurance, low endurance regeneration, minus two fitness. And underweight says low strength, low endurance, and prone to injury, minus one fitness. But these are things that we can um, negate, you know, as as uh, we move forward, uh, you know, just by eating and, and moving around. Um, and for the positive traits, I was thinking fast reader, outdoorsman, and lucky. And so fast reader takes less time to read books. Outdoorsman not affected by harsh weather conditions. Again, thinking if we're going to be moving outside the grid, you know, it'd be nice to be able to uh, sustain um, for long, longer periods of time. Um, and then lucky, it says sometimes things just go your way, which just means that you're going to get better backpacks, um, and better spawns of weapons and things like that. Um, so moving on, and we also did get our point uh, points to spend down to zero. So that's good. So that means we can move. Um, I did already create a character. We got Blaine Griggs. Uh, I, I like this specimen right here. Look look at the look at the run. All right. I know you see it. Like this man is not gonna you, you're not gonna be able to catch this guy when he takes off on you. You know he's built for these next thirty days hopefully. So um, with that all that out of the way, let's get it. Wow. All right. That was intense. Let's see what we're spawning at. Maybe we'll get somewhere new. Um, okay, I have been here before. I'll go ahead and close these curtains here. And here. Make sure this TV's turned down. Yeah, it's at full volume. Let's not do that. And let's also turn it to life and living. We can uh, get some of that free XP. Um, in the process of looking through what we have. Okay, we have mechanic for beginners and intermediate, so that's really good. That's that's really good off the off the off the rip to find. Uh, let's see what's in here. Got a box of nails. Okay, that's always good, I guess. Let's go ahead and close this up. And there was a dog that barked, um, so I'm not exactly sure if that's going to bring more. Uh, zombies on our location but we'll find out and also a lot of these mods uh, that you'll be seeing uh, in the game I have not had my chance to play yet so we are going to be experiencing some of this stuff together for the first time we're gonna go ahead and take those vitamins um, 
We'll go ahead and grab these sheets as well. Let's see what's in here. Uh, go ahead and close this. And let's go ahead and rip up this t-shirt uh, just so we have some bandages on us. And let's see if we can put these sheets on these doors here. Bad sheet. And close curtains. Okay. We don't have a weapon, so we are going to have to mosey our way on out of here. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get out of here. We're not gonna look back. Oh, he's got a cowboy hat, though. We want that, and we need that. Okay. Oh, look, he's gonna hop the fence, too. Look at that. That's great. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to talk to you for a moment. About that hat you're wearing. I'm gonna need to commandeer that. Get back. Yeah, that's right. And if you stand on top of zombies, uh, they can't get up. So, cool fact. Uh, let's go ahead and slap this bad mamma jamma on. Go! All right, there's a new sheriff in town. All right, let's see if we can get in this house. Oh, look at that. Door's wide open. Any alarms? No. Wow. It said psych. That's the wrong number. That's the wrong number. All right, let's just try to get inside for now. I know we have this one. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and let them in. We don't want them breaking our door down. Oh, yeah, yeah they definitely saw us. Okay. Get that. Okay, so that alarm um, definitely did that. And now it's brought every zombie, and I don't even know how big of a radius, to this location. So, with that being said, this is going to be a difficult situation to get out of. I don't even have a weapon yet. But, you know, we'll add this sheet on here. You know, make me get real nervous. And then we'll go ahead and close those. And uh, we will mind our own business for a little while. We got a house key. All right. We'll take that. What else? We got a classic wristwatch. Let's go ahead and slap that bad boy on. Nah, we're good. All right. It is <laughs> it's currently 1040 in the morning. And um, all I have is I've got a broom. All right. Um, I've got some rounds. Oh, you hear that? Who's that creeping in my window? I do want to stay in here as long as I can. Okay, hello. Is some hello? Is anyone here? Yes, someone is here. So they're gonna receive an ancient technique passed down from generations called the curb stomp. Get out of here. Let me be. And another one. Another two. Oh, look, that one has a weapon on him. Hold on. Maybe we can get out of this. It gets stomped through the freaking thing, you dummy. <laughs> All right, he got stabbed with a fork, so that's not going to be good enough for me. I do hear another one over here somewhere. I would definitely like to avoid all of that. Um, can I wear this, please? Oh, I changed it. I was already wearing it. Joke's on me. Get off me, wristwatch. All right, now it's 11.10. Um, and it's... Whoa, hold on there. Hold on there, folks. Oh, shit. Okay, wait. Yeah, back up. What in the world? What in the tornado? Get off me. Get off me. We're going to hold out, though. We are going to hold out. Get back. Get back. I don't know what time you think it is. What in the world? 
Hold on. It's getting real dangerous. This is getting real dangerous. We are, um, strong panic, right? Not high, we're strong. Alright, uh, let's see what, what else is going on in here. I, I, I hear a bunch of them out there. There's still this one banging on the door, you know. So I don't want to go out there just yet. I'm going to try to clear as many of them as I can. Um, I don't even really want to loot anybody just because of all of... Look at that. I do want that jacket, but we'll have to come back for that. Get off me. Okay. You don't know anything about that, do you? Now, there's another one outside this window here. I think there's one right here. They got the door. All right, folks, we're getting out of here. Woo! Excuse me, miss. Got a blast. Good lord. All right. We are going to hop the fence. We're going to move quickly with focus. Oh, my goodness. We got to conserve energy, though. We have a long way to go to get out of here. It's currently 12 o'clock uh, in game, and uh, we are running for our lives. Well, we're walking briskly for our lives. We don't want to bring more attention that running brings. And look at that crowd we brought behind us. Uh, we do need to still get a weapon. I didn't get the chance to really loot those bodies, so we are going to just keep doing this. We're going to try to break contact right here. Uh, we are going to get a few stragglers for sure, but it would be better to leave that group behind us in the dust. And if we break contact, they might lose interest. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's in front of us. Okay, we yeah, we still got a few behind us, though, so we're going to have to keep it moving. Um, I'm just panicked now. But I don't want to be. I don't want to fight in this state. I, I want to. I want to have more to offer. Okay, there's another group coming up, so let's go ahead and cr cut across, so we don't have to deal with that. I'm sure there's more up here, but so far everything looks clear in front of me. We try to break contact again. Nope, we're gonna keep moving. Let's take a look in front of us again. There's a fire truck out there. Hold on. The chances of the keys being anywhere close is slim to none, so we are not going to do that. Right, we're starting to get panicked again. Oh my, oh, you have a backpack. I needed that. Alright, right, it's wild because now I have to figure out where to go and how to get out of all of this. Um, if anybody has any ideas of how to get out of situations like this, uh, let me know in the comments. I do want to kind of like duck off in a house somewhere, but it just requires so much. To oh my word. All right, that's actually okay though. We'll just break contact with the ones in front of us. We're going to keep it moving. I want to duck off in a house somewhere, but um, I am getting thirsty too. I want to duck off in a house somewhere, but... uh. It just requires so much to get in, but I feel like if I can break contact and get inside, that might be the best move. There are also is woods over here, so my skills might have to come to the test early on. Imagine that. It might be a better option. I don't even want to turn around right now because I already know. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Tree. Okay, we did come to another house. And depending on how many are behind us right now, which I can't even see, we might be able to use this house to regroup. Oh, there's two homes to regroup in. All right, but let's at least get out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind. We'll go ahead and go for this one over here. They're, they're real lonely. Yeah, what's up, what's up, what's up? see what we can get um all right, not really interested in that at the moment hopefully 
we can get in this house. It'd be nice to be able to regroup and have a place. And there's a bed in here as well, so, you know, that's always cool. All right, that lock is broken. Let's get down again just to make sure there's nothing there. All right, try this other window here. There's one more window to try. About two more. Look at that. All right. Can we not get a repeat of last time, please? Hello. Close these blinds and, and whatnot. Um, okay. This is a pretty small place, so I imagine I would have seen it if it was here, but let's continue to look around. Take a quick look. All right, cool. Let's close up shop. We need to make ourselves nice and comfortable. Uh, that was an intense situation to be in in the first, like, ten minutes of playing, but, you know, um, it is what it is. Uh, let's close that up. Okay, let's see if they have any food. Wow. <laughs> Empty. Oh, I got some mac and cheese. Do I even need to cook it? Can I cook it? I have a baking pan. I don't know if we need all that, though. I'm just going to eat mac and cheese straight out the box, because uh, you know, that's how it is sometimes. Pretty impressive, I know. Let's go also go ahead and get a sip of that water. Alright, let's go ahead and turn this uh, down. Let's go ahead and switch it over, just so it's in. No, nothing? Okay, cool. Let's um, get out of here. Let's go ahead and just take a look. We, you know, we have some extra stuff. Look, there's a vehicle right there, too. Um, so let's just take a minute, gather our surroundings. We did bring a bunch of them over here, probably. I uh, imagine they're out in the wood line somewhere. Maybe a few of them snuck through. Uh, so it's just something to keep in mind. So right now we're looking for a weapon. Thought I heard something. We're looking for a weapon, and we are looking for a backpack. And just any kind of thing that we can eat, you know. We are still underweight. Okay, we did get the one. All right, come on, doofus, let's go. Make sure we're still clear behind us. Because we're about to do something crazy. They're going to make me act up. They're going to make me act up. All right. Oh, a butter knife? I mean, I guess. All right, we still got another one over here. We probably got a few of them over here. That one's leaving now. I um, mean, if you see me crouching a lot, um, I just I'm kind of impatient and and also kind of lazy with this stuff, so I like to just run up on them uh, quickly. Um, makes your chances of getting seen a little lower. Okay, and there's another cowboy hat. It's brown this time. We need to collect that. We'll need that. Thank you. Uh, did I already check this one? I did. Okay. So no more limes, please. Let's check around the corner over here. Uh, we did get a window. <laughs> Every place has me real nervous now. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and hop in. Excuse me, I'd like to I'd like to go in there. Thank you. Hello. Okay, it's currently 310 in game. And uh we're still looking for quite a few things. Let's go ahead and grab this jacket. We might need that. Let's get the rest of this. Okay, so let's move through here quickly, efficiently. We need to check. All the areas first we also need to make sure all the doors are closed We're good in here and then let's see what's in here all right cool um, let me go ahead and get a sip let's go ahead and close these up as well um, just so we have another place to run back to if we need to. 
Um, and especially now that we've at least secured two areas. You know, it's always good stuff. Let's check this bookshelf out. And I, and I did realize we ended up having to leave. Um, why is this not grabbing? There it is. Um, I did realize we had to end up leaving a couple of books behind. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But we will find more. Mayonnaise. Let me get that. You ever just eat a whole tube of mayonnaise? Okay, let me grab that. Let's grab some sugar. Grab that. Um, we'll grab the dog food too, because you never know. But we do have a rolling pin. Okay, so somebody's gonna get straight bonked. And that's what that tells me. Yeah, look at that. You were getting bonked. Hey yo! Look at the swing. Uh, um, let's see what else. Okay, he came in here. Okay. What's in here? This is the window we came in, right? Uh, let's see. Nope. But I will close these up though. Okay, so I mean overall, still not a not a bad find. Um, let's see what else is over here. We're not going to continue back that way because, remember, we left a bunch of zombies in the dust over there. So, let's avoid that again. They pushed us out of that area fast. Um, let's go ahead and check out this car. You know, maybe it's got a key. You know, at least with the key, we can do, we can, we're, you know, we're working with something if we got a key. Oh, it's open. All that's in there's a pin, but there there may be hope. There might be a key inside this house, and we just need to find out if they got it on them. All right, the doors are locked. Let's try to look for maybe like a break before we just try to open this window. I do want to be a little bit more cautious, and I'm even considering leaving this area just to see what's up there a little bit more because we do have more homes that one's boarded up someone's been busy maybe we can find a hammer and um find out what's up in there there are some more homes so we are going to leave that one alone for now um again i just don't want to bring you know uh, set off another alarm and bring more of them here so we'll just scope out the place Hello. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get back. Bonk. 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 All right. There's another one. Maybe inside the house. Oh, look at that. There's a window that's open. Let me just check around the side because I thought I heard something. Hello. What do you want? What are you doing in there, huh? What are you doing in there? Let me find out. And you know, for 30 day playthrough, you definitely want to be less aggressive than this. But. Sometimes I just got to see. I just got to see. They wanted to be aggressive with me. So now I got to be a little bit more aggressive with them. We're upstairs now. This is when things get a little serious. Get back. Get off me. CQB is not advised. Let's back them up away from that window. We don't want to hit it by accident. There it is. All right, cool. Um, we still need to make sure that we are good. So let's go ahead and open up another door. All right, got a closet and a bedroom with the with the curtains closed. Thank you. Now, TBH, this might be a really good spot to be in. 
Um, it's got it's got two floors, you know, so that's always good. More space to move to, and um, it's boarded up. That takes a lot of work out of the game for us uh, in finding a place to live. Look at that, a Toys R Us mini walkie-talkie. I wonder if this. I don't know. Oh, it does. Okay, so the cool thing about this is that when you are using a um, radio, there's an emergency broadcast that'll give you some information for the day. Uh, and there's an event that happens and it will kind of give you like a heads up before then. So yeah, it's really good to have. And now that I got a small one, you know, I don't have to carry around this big radio. I wouldn't, I don't even think we need to close that. I don't even, I don't know if we need to close this. Can somebody let me know if you do need to close boarded up windows? Um, I'm going to close them for now and uh, just keep going. This one's not boarded up. So, oh, yes, it is. I see it. Let's see if we hit any kind of jackpot with anything. We're going to go ahead and at least put our stuff in here because I think this is the house that I would like to stay in. I'll go ahead and throw our sugar and our pepper in there as well. Um, whoa, look at that. That's cool. Okay, so again, I haven't played these mods before, so um, I assume it works similarly to the regular vanilla playthrough, but uh, we'll find out. You know, I downloaded them because I saw that you can get like silencers and stuff, and I thought that was pretty cool. You know, just make the game a little bit more interesting. Um, okay, we got some weapons in here. Let's go ahead and at least put this kind of stuff in here. I want my ripped sheets, but all of this. And I'll organize later. Can I get a sip of water? Let's fill the water bottle first. And then let's get a sip. Okay, cool. And we will definitely need to get these bodies out of here. Close this up. We'll need to get something to board that window, uh, but we need a hammer or something first. So for now, actually, I didn't even think about how I'm going to get out of here. I mean, I guess I can just hop out the window, but I do need to pull like something off of this door. Uh, but again, need a hammer. Um, let me see if I can pick these bodies up and go through that window. Please. Cool. And then let's drop the corpse here. And we'll do some like burn detail at some point. Grab the other one. And we will actually go ahead and take this stuff off of you. We'll need extra clothes. Um, does the necklace show up if I put it on? Hold on, let's see. Yo. Yo. The fashion. Alright. Um, <laughs> let's get this corpse off the ground. And get that outside. It's starting to get late too. So we are about to call it a night. Let's get this one over here. Maybe uh, search one more house possible um, let's go ahead and put our weapon back on just in case we run into pinhead Larry out here never know okay still just checking our area because again we don't know what's over here we're actually gonna do a sweep of the house from the outside just to see if there is anything in there waiting for us or close by okay there's one in there see look at that look what we found just by you know a little observation uh let's at least try the front door first maybe even another window oh okay all right um that's fine too i guess we could be breaking windows making noise we're going to back him off the window because we don't know what else is in there. Oh, let's look. It's a park ranger. Might have a gun in the house. Maybe even on him. Get down. 
Uh, I like my drip better. Oh, so again, I don't I don't remember if I swept this out this part of the house, so let's just check a look. Got to double check, trust but verify. Okay. And I guess the good thing about that zombie breaking the window is that now all I have to do is clear it and uh, see how that works. We're um, we're having a pretty good start, other than that, you know, first part. But I'm um, I'm enjoying this playthrough so far. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's get a good look. just gonna check this house out but you know we can go ahead and close the windows too because we already know it's kind of like a way to help us know where we're at because I definitely want to familiarize myself because I have not explored enough of this map honestly to know where I am at but that's okay because that's part of the fun right let's go ahead and grab that water bottle we are going to need things to start holding water because we do still have to wait for the power to go out. Um, and it would be nice to already have some of these things together. Let's go ahead and grab this can opener. Actually, let's just grab both. Um, let's see. What do cigarettes do for you? They minus your stress. Okay, we'll grab that. I don't condone smoking, by the way. Oh, we don't need an alarm clock. Um, a sheet? We could do with that, you know? We'll grab that. And we already went in there. Okay, cool. Well, we have... Did we check the bookshelf? We didn't. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Matter of fact, let me get all that. Alright. Cool. So... I think we're good here. I think we're good. Uh, which window? This is the window we came in. Hello, world. Alright, it's currently 840 in game and we are heading back home for those of you who made it this far I appreciate you watching it means a lot oh, we're going actually to this house over here now we're going through the window this is a good first day though. Well, you know, I'm I'm pretty impressed with this. We got <laughs> we still have to uh, make sure nothing climbed in our house while we were gone, but uh it's looking pretty clear. So, that's always good news. All right, so let's get this stuff away. Let's go ahead and get this in there. We're going to keep one of the can openers on us. We have a sheet. Uh, put the water bottle in there. Actually, we'll uh, We'll just keep that on us. Need to get rid of this and that and that and that and we'll put this away as well until we figure out what station the emergency broadcast channel is on um okay cool i think we have everything okay everyone well you know thanks for tuning in uh this has been day one um and hopefully we'll see you next time thanks